Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a haul from Rainbow Melts. This is the opening that Crystal had um, just this past, no, not just this past weekend, but the weekend before on the 20th, I think it was, September 20th. So I received my box today. Um, this was kind of her big Halloween fall, I think, opening. Um, so I thought, I opened the box, but I haven't actually gone through it, so I thought I would kind of do somewhat of an unboxing for you because I just thought it was packaged really cute with all the this stuff um, and everything so anyhow first of all there is this card that Crystal always includes in her information there at the bottom in case you're interested in checking her out and then there is my invoice um, which let's see about showing you all the personal information so um, she has a cute little pumpkin says thanks so much from Crystal so this order was not real large um, I actually was not planning on ordering and then I happened to I don't know go on her website and I saw that there was stuff left and so I just looked through and I thought well if there's stuff that sounds good I will add it to my cart okay and then look at this I almost threw him out. There's a cute little, a cute little skeleton. Isn't that cute? I don't know. He's like some kind of a ornament or hangy thing. So, anyhow, there's that. So let me go and take all the, the stuffing out. I'm gonna have a nice big mess. And it looks like a lot of her packaging is all kind of Halloween themed. So that's really cute. And I'm pretty sure there's probably samples in here because she always does include samples. But, oh, so I think it's probably this um, is my guess. Everything else is probably what I ordered. But let me go ahead and open this. So I just love this bag with the spider webs on it. It's just absolutely adorable. And it looks like there's quite a few, at least a few things in here. So there's some candy and it's all eyeballs. Isn't that cute? I think the top one is like a gummy, some kind of a gummy eyeball maybe. Yeah, it's a gummy eyeball. And then I don't know if this other one is probably a jawbreaker. A jawbreaker eyeball. You can kind of, or yeah, something like that. I don't know if it's supposed to be an eyeball or not. And then the samples. Okay, so there's two little pumpkins in Tricks or Treats. Um, I I do not have the scent descriptions for this. So, it smells kind of like a cider, like an apple cider mixed with something else. There's a, um, a pretty, I say pretty strong bakery kind of cinnamon. Ooh, did you guys hear that? That was like car brake screeching. I don't know if you guys picked, if my camera picked up or not, but, but it smells really good. There's kind of like a pumpkin and like an apple kind of cinnamon type scent. It smells really good. So again, that's those cute little pumpkins. And then gingerbread applesauce um, and two little gingerbreads. Yeah, it smells, um, you get, I'm not sure if I like this one or not. It's kind of a weird mixture of the gingerbread and the applesauce. I don't know. I may try it or I may pass it on to someone else, but I always appreciate the, the freebies. That's exciting. So this one, super cute. This is grave, Graveyard Snack, which is mocha butter cookies, strong coffee, and sweet cream. And it's two ghosts, and look at they even have the eyes. Um, and those are some good sized ghosts. Like, I definitely think that's probably like about at least one ounce for melting. And this smells fantastic. It's a very like authentic coffee, but with like a heavy cream note, and then a little bit of that mocha. It smells really good. I'm a little particular with my coffee scents because I don't want just straight up straight up coffee. I like it to have kind of like cream and sugar, you know, sweet um, and creamy type scent. 
So this is Monster Munch uh, Caramel Corn Toasted Marshmallow and Salty Pretzel. Again, it's in the cute little ghosties with the eyes. It looks like the eyes, let's see if you can see that. Um, let me take one out. Because it looks like the eyes, as opposed to being painted on, are actually like wax. So, let's see if it'll focus. I know that's really close. Come on, camera. Hmm. Okay, there we go. See how, like, it's raised? So, they're like little round black circles. But this smells really good. Um, the caramel corn toasted marshmallow salty pretzel. Okay. So, I definitely get the caramel, but it's not like super caramelly. I get the sweet creaminess of the marshmallow and a little bit of kind of that salty pretzel note. It just smells more kind of like a salty caramel. I'm not really getting a lot of pretzel, like the baked bread um, type scent, but it smells really good. And then there's two pumpkins in Twisted Pumpkin, which is pumpkin bread, pecan pie, and a twist of salty caramel. Yay. Her pumpkin is definitely spicy. I think I mentioned that when I did my custom haul. Um, you get a little bit of the pecan pie and kind of a caramel note. I'm not picking up on the salty note as much on this one, but it smells good. All these yummy fall scents. And this is super cute. The big old pumpkin, and he's pretty big. See him on my hand. And this is tear treats. It looks like there's a lot in this. So fresh citrus notes of lime and orange sparkle with luscious blend of berry and cherry and sweet berry trio of juicy ripe cherries, strawberries, and raspberries harmonized with hints of tangy citrus brought together by icy peppermint and sugary hard rock candy. I do not remember the scent description on her website being this detailed. So... Oh, this smells fantastic. You get like the fizzy note. Um, and I don't know, is that from the rock candy? But there's like a fizzy note to it. But it's almost kind of like fruit punch mixed with like a seltzer type carbonated drink. Oh, that is really good. It's definitely, it doesn't really seem like a fall scent to me, but it smells really good. It's very refreshing. Let's see trying to decide what to grab. Okay, two more little pumpkins in spider cider. This is mold cider and gooey caramel. Yum. Yeah, this is good. That's a good cider. It's a very fresh apple kind of note in the cider. And that's mostly what I'm getting, but then there's kind of just like a, a sweet creaminess to it. It's not overly caramelly. Mmm, really good. I love the apple in that one. Yum. And then I got some of these adorable owls. These things are huge. I'm going to take this guy out so you can see him. I don't like getting my bags all messy, which is why I typically don't take them out. But isn't he cute? He got a little smushed. That's okay. So he's really big. Definitely you can cut him in half. Um, or if you're a very modest melter, you could probably do... A third because I imagine he's at least two and a half ounces but someone should do a YouTube channel called modest melter it's kind of cute um, but anyhow so this is in wicked bliss I will show you the scent description right now if I get him tucked back in so this is zucchini pumpkin pecan waffles sugar cookie and butter brickle oh yeah so this is fantastic it is just like a yummy super sweet bakery pumpkin pecan waffles oh that smells good this one is delicious if she brings out more but I don't know if Crystal's planning on having another opening before Halloween but if she does add that somehow to stock Wicked Bliss you must get it it's really good and then another owlie and this is Scary Berries and this one is one that I did a custom blend in Back when I did my custom order, it's strawberries and cream, blueberry and frankenberry. And I'm going to go ahead and sniff it again because I don't remember what it smells like. 
Mm, this is really good. It's just like a fresh kind of like sweet strawberry, but then it has the like sweet booberry fruity note. And there's, oh, and frankenberry. So it's a lot of like sweet kind of fruity bakery berry, not bakery, sweet fruity berries. It's really good. Ah, my nose is itching. Okay. The next one is a two pack with um, a big leaf and a big pumpkin. That's kind of the back. The light is kind of very reflective on this, huh? Let me see. Does that help any? The box is kind of in the way. But you can kind of see. Okay, so cider donuts, fresh apples with a rich moist cake donut and tiny hints of cinnamon and caramel. So again, I like the other cider scent. Mm, this is good, but I think um, I think the donut, the cinnamon's a lot heavier on this one with that cinnamon donut. Um, so it's kind of overpowering the apple right now, but it's you know, good. And then there is a four pack of these bunt cakes in haunted breakfast blueberry pumpkin hot cakes. Yum. It remind it's pretty similar. It reminds me a little bit of um, blueberry pumpkin patch, but then there's that like bakery kind of hot cake scent, that like extra sweetness and like bakery note to it. And that smells really good. It's not spicy. This one. Let's see. This guy. This is just a little kind of grubby, one of those little grubby mini loaves. Can you see it? Here, I can take it out. I'm kind of, I'm doing this from a different location and angle than I typically do, but see, it's one of these. And this is Ghost Party. It's blueberry marshmallow and birthday cake. And the first thing I smelled the second I took it out is the blueberry, which is blueberry and strawberry. It smells good. And the marshmallow um, makes it sweeter. I'm not picking up a ton of cake right now, but I'm sure that'll come out when it gets melted. And then the last thing, this is super cute. I think I mostly got this because I was like, it is adorable. So it's a little tiny pie and a little round tin. I'm going to take it out so you guys can see it. The packaging on this is just really adorable and really cute on everything. So... Here is the pie. There are some crumbs. Just it got a little banged up in, in transit. Isn't that cute with the bat and the skulls? Oh, another bat. All right, and then the bag. Here, I'm going to put that in there. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the scent. So here's the bag. This is zombie zucchini. So it's zucchini, key lime, and a hint of blueberry. Okay, so I'm going to sniff it. Mm, this smells really good. Definitely getting the key lime, but um, you can pick up the zucchini. The zucchini is probably like the second note that I get. So I'm mostly getting key lime and zucchini, but it smells really good. So that's super cute. I love how she puts her the scent descriptions on the labels now. I just think it makes it so much easier, especially for us people that do the videos, right? So anyhow, so that is my order. Um, I'll get the thing out and kind of package everything back up when I'm done here. Um, but anyhow, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys had an opportunity to grab some stuff from this opening. And if you didn't, um, I don't know that she's announced what she's when she's going to be opening up again or adding more stock to her website. But just uh, look for Rainbow Melts on the Facebook group. Um, or look for Rainbow Melts in Facebook. There's a group. And she posts there with openings and what she's planning on adding and when she'll be opening and all that stuff. So definitely check her out if you haven't. Her stuff is excellent. Thanks for watching. Bye.